people worked day and night, put work way beyond what you could ever dare ask someone to do. But it was not done with a large organization. When it's over, there's no organization left. It was done as if it was a, a problem. A problem presented to the network, and people volunteered. They volunteered to work hard, volunteered to work all hours, and enjoyed it. I was, and several of us were wondering, is it right to ask this every year, every two years of people? I went to visit them on the ship the other night, and the question was, are we going to do it next year? <laughs> Are we going to do it next year? In spite of the hard work, in spite of the stress, the hours, this was the question that Deckworld staff put to Ken Olson. And in so doing, they showed a willingness to do it all again. A Deckworld spirit of generosity, a desire to contribute. Clearly, one of the many things offered by Deckworld is an arena in which individuals can perform and achieve solving problems and tackling challenges, be they managerial, technical, marketing, or concerned with planning and design. The managerial overview was developed by Deck World manager, Roger Hazeman. We started out uh, this new project over a year ago. There were just two of us. Um, it was a project of multi-million dollar scope, and we had to build up an organization uh, from various parts across the world. The project was a worldwide project. Over the course of time, as the program developed, we were hiring people, we were defining the details of the product, and actually building uh, the end product itself. This um, bringing in of people was, uh, was a major challenge, um, logistically, uh, a very difficult task to manage the affairs of over 20,000 people uh, in one location. Getting them together, finding them space, and ensuring that their creature comforts were also being looked after at the same time. We brought together a team of people, formed them into a group of high performers and showing our customers uh, that we're number one. The customers and salespeople that have come in to participate in this event have been overwhelmed by the um, professionalism the staff, the products, and everything which has been associated with uh, the running of the, the show. The feedback that I've got from both customers, from salespeople, and from top management have been very encouraging. Um, the quality of the people, again, is always one of the uh, major statements. And the customers have gone away, I think, feeling very happy that they're doing business with a professional company and that uh, we are able to do their business with them internationally and take account of their various cultural differences. And um, I think that we have uh, met the challenge, integrated the enterprise, and shown the world how it's done. Part of showing the world how it's done was showing them that the digital network could perform as we know it can. Jean-Louis Franceschini led this element of the Deckworld team. I've been uh, mainly involved in building a strong technical force to build an exhibition, a big exhibition. And uh, in that job, I have to integrate uh, many people from different skills, different experience. I have to say that uh, there was a big involvement of all the people. All, and. Uh, a great enthusiasm from the people coming from different countries. Marketing the content of the digital messages was also an essential issue in Deckworld. 
Phil London spoke about the central aspects of this set of challenges. Well, integrating the enterprise was the, th the theme of the whole programme or project. That theme, however related to any specific industry, was to be given to any customer who want him to understand that message and what it means to him and what it means to his business for the future. Planning and design of the physical exhibition itself were of crucial importance in providing the setting for the marketing messages. Interpreting those messages in a graphic, easily understandable way. Aubert de Poyard was in charge. In this project, I was responsible for the exhibit itself and for the space management. I had to use people from the US, working with people from South France, working with marketing team people who are coming from all around Europe. And you have to bring all these people understanding them themselves together and working together on the same project, which is not really easy because you have language difference, cultural difference, and all set of problems that appear according to the way you are going through the project. Managerial, technical, marketing and design challenges were only four of the many areas where Deck World staff showed what they could do. People applied their talents to security, training and communications, along with many others. And what they all had in common was an enthusiasm, a willingness to achieve the common goal of convincing the thousands of customers who flooded into Deck World that digital was the company for them to do business with. And did we succeed? Let's hear from the customers. The, the, the quality of the people that are working here and their enthusiasm, I've enjoyed it very much and learnt a great deal. A lot of uh, technology on display and uh, a lot of helpful people. I think we'll find a lot of answers to our questions and we'll see our way clearer to the future. I've, I've been very much impressed. I think it's a wonderful show. I've been before and uh, the standard and the quality and the hospitality of the people has been excellent. The other thing that impresses you, of course, always with DEC, not only DEC World, is the tremendous enthusiasm that people have. And one of the reasons we like working with a company is that they are tremendously enthusiastic and very willing to work your way rather than any colour you like as long as it's black. It's probably done more for, in marketing terms for DEC than any other initiative they've entered into. These were just four of the many customers to whom we spoke, underlining our success in achieving our goal. And this was recognised by top management, the DEC World 88 achievement. You know, often we talk about uh, organisations and uh, uh, computers and uh, in information systems which help the enterprise to integrate itself. But we also say that if you don't have the attitude of the people that are willing to communicate with each other and to understand each other, I don't think you have a teamwork. And if you don't have a teamwork, you don't have an integrated enterprise. And I think you've been a beautiful example to our customers on how you do it. Thank you very much. Once again, I think, in addition to the product, our capability, what really impressed the customer is an enthusiasm that was evident throughout any demo, throughout the people, uh, the girls at the reception, uh, the people at the demonstration center. I think that enthusiasm, passion is so evident the customer cannot avoid it and they go back, I think, is what I, th I thought would be the key point, that they go back with a lasting impression that the DAC employee feels so much motivated to help them that I don't think they can resist to go back and purchase from us. A large number of people worked together, worked enormously hard, developed a lot of systems, but it was not done as a major corporate management problem. And I think that's something we can be proud of, I hope you all enjoyed the work you did. It was magnificent, and um, I hope you had the satisfaction you deserve from all that effort. Deck World 88. Effort, commitment, enthusiasm, they were all present, and so was time to have fun.
So let's remember some of that fun. Where the sunshine never ends Electric atmosphere of gold For the young and for the old in can You can lay out on the sand On the streets at night Neon lights will guide you Restaurants and bars They set your heart alight Big world, eight. Integrating the enterprise a good time Made your way through registration with your friends from other nations What? Is that the time? Lunch had already begun The wine was fine but not very cool I couldn't eat much I thought of the boat by the pool Yeah! Oh boy, I gotta get back Gotta catch that elevator Make it to the class Ask my questions later Watch the trainer's hands Dick World 8 Integrating the enterprise oh. Dick World 8 Everybody having a good time But uh, let's not forget what digital stands for D Dedication Innovation G Generosity I Industry T Teamwork A Ability L Loyalty O Take the tender to the Odyssey up the ladder you go <laughs> While the management horse around back on shore Grab a drink and some bait Oh la la The fun has just begun Uh, tennis anyone? As you mow the grass in the blazing sun <laughs> Hear the tannoy shout Time, Time to work, my son! Dick Integrating the enterprise Ooh. Dick World 88 Everybody having a great time Eating dinner on the ship The band begins to play And soon you start to sway Piano music hits your ears And the dizziness appears But the hospital's near, so uh... As you dance away to the early light You can see the coast and the neon lights Oh! Ooh! Dick World 8 Integrating the Enterprise Integrating the Enterprise Oh, that's right! Come on! Dick World 88 Everybody having a good time! Oh, 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 Dick World 88 Digital, Digital truly has it now.
fast product cycles, quick response, links resources. These are very often the name of the game in beating the competition. Developing a window of opportunity, the need to seize a competitive advantage, to move ahead of the market with a new product or service. Leveraging these assets can depend on the ability of your information technology vendors to understand the business challenges you face and respond to them quickly. Moving ahead of the field might require the setting up of a strategic business unit. This process demands many things. Given the central role of information in modern business and industry, a critical need is for flexible computing power that can grow with applications, services support and communications to link it all together. And of course, management skills are at the heart of the process of establishing a new part of an enterprise. We started formulating our goals and objectives for the project itself, uh, getting management approval and building ourselves an organization. Uh, in order to do that, we drew resources from across the world, worldwide internal resources, and worldwide external resources. The manufacturing goods were delivered, um, the salespeople arrived, the specialists uh, did their installations, and uh, after six weeks of effort, um, here on site, we managed to ensure that everybody was again integrated, the pieces came together, it was like a jigsaw puzzle, and at the end of the event we didn't have any spare pieces. And we had a very nice picture. To make the most of an opportunity, designers, engineers, and managers all have to be able to work together on a product to ensure its appropriateness for the market. And they have to be able to communicate interactively, wherever their physical location, especially with management who are in constant communication with the marketplace. The most important uh, facets of the job are having a knowledge of digital and the company, where it's going, and a knowledge of the customer requirements, what do customers need from us, not now but also in the future, and where in two years time what will they require. And that's what we're really trying to get over here, what we have now and what we have in the future that's going to best fit their business needs. Enhancing the productivity of knowledge workers is a key aim of any business operation. The goal is beating the competition to market. And the means to that goal are open systems built on a basis of compatible architectures and tailored to provide the competitive advantage within and beyond the enterprise. Technological leadership and market performance are directly related to the ability to link all functions through a network and to manage that network to the highest level of availability, functionality, and user friendliness. Putting network managers in a position to deliver maximum services while tying up minimum resources. We have approximately 350 workstations. That means uh, different CPUs from different size. And in addition, we have two big uh, computer rooms in which there were uh, five cl big clusters that uh, correspond up roughly to 200 MIPS, if so. Uh, and um, let's say enough power to support such an exhibition. The success of any business unit is directly related to its ability to deliver. Whether goods or services, Commitments must be met and customer expectations fulfilled. So transport and distribution are crucial parts of any production process. And they must be linked to the entire system to ensure that their goals are met. Or else, all other efforts will come to nothing. The ability to stay ahead is often derived from being able to carry out research and communicating the results of that research to all relevant parts of the enterprise. Widely dispersed facilities can be joined electronically and the ideas and the work of personnel developed interactively with the right communications capabilities. You've got to have, in my opinion, a good network. 
Uh, this would not have been possible without our network. It absolutely would have been impossible to do. But when I can take a plan from Europe that's developed and transmit that to Japan within a 24-hour period, the only reason it took 24 hours was because when Europe was sending it to me, I wasn't at work yet. As soon as I got into work, I read the plan, sent it out to Japan, and when they got into work the next day, they had the plan in front of them. Organizational management skills and executive leadership have always relied on access to information. However, as the world moves faster and faster, access to timely information has become not only necessary, but crucial to enable organizations to adapt quickly to rapid changes and competitive thrusts. The challenges of modern business are many and varied. A major part of the answer is flexible computing power, enabling all functions of the enterprise to utilize their information assets to the full and leveraging their common efforts across a carefully integrated responsive network, linking office functions with research, engineering, manufacturing, sales, and distribution. And these were the capabilities demonstrated at DeckWorld, the digital subsidiary built in just three months. Deck World is the world's largest single vendor information systems symposium and exhibition. But in reality, a genuine digital subsidiary with a set of business goals and a management team devoted to bringing the product Deck World to its customers both in Cannes and in application centers for technology across the United States. Behind the management team stood a functioning organization which carried out planning design, implementation, and management tasks, functioning through the digital network to bring together the right skills, products, and people to achieve their goal in the brief window of opportunity available to them. And did they achieve their goals? We talked to the customer base of DeckWorld. It just gives us a big overview of what digital is able to do. And I've seen a lot of displays, but this is great the quality of the people that are working here and their enthusiasm. I've enjoyed it very much and learned a great deal. I have a lot of information about new products and uh, in the future what sort of uh, software and uh, hardware will issue so uh, I can make some plans for, for the future. I like to exchange ideas with other people coming from other countries because one can learn a lot and we can learn a lot about people and I think that's very important. I want to take the message home that uh, digital indeed has products, policies and the service to solve end users problem and that's what it is all about. That's where we're all going. We want to sit at one terminal, not have multiple terminals and access whatever data processing equipment's out there. So it is the right thing. It's tremendous to see so much technology under one roof and it's tremendous to be able to come here and, uh, and see it all because if we were in Australia we'd have to uh, travel all around the world. You can find everything you need for your environment and uh, you, know, uh, you can also think of the future. I think we'll find a lot of answers to our questions and we'll see our way clearer to the future. The quality of the exhibit is remarkable for people like me who are not specialists who are called to use uh, use systems and other systems but who are never exposed as concretely as we are doing this exhibit. I'm amazed that you can get so much technology in uh, under one roof for us to be able to uh, see in a very small area those areas of technology that we can make use of uh, in our future directions so that we can see where we're going, we can plan with some confidence and we can uh, basically see it working. The digital subsidiary we called DeckWorld demonstrated many things. Digital's products, systems, strategies and organizational ability. But above all it showed that for digital, integrating the enterprise meant using one network, one set of architectures and one strategy to integrate an organization's business solutions into the digital corporate information system. 
and this corporate information system showed that it could provide easy access to critical decision support data in a timely manner. DeckWorld is over, but its product, customer appreciation of digital's ability to integrate the enterprise, will have a long life cycle. Certainly if we can do a project uh, of the scope of this for ourselves, we can then in turn also do it for our, our customers. And that's where we're ready, willing and able to do it.